Hello, welcome to another video. We'll be taking a look through a set I've recently bought today and see if there's anything worth grading, see if I got a good deal or not. So don't forget to, as always, to let me know down in the comments whether you think I over or underpaid for this. Um, now, this set that I bought cost me £950 and it is a complete first edition fossil set. So all 62 cards are here, the 15 hollows in this set and um, so without further ado let's get stuck into it and start taking a look through them so the first of the hollows is this aerodactyl let's just get this out um, so you can see a nice clean card there nice um nice clean hollow a couple of small print lines but overall very good um, if we go to the back, we can see there is a small amount of white. You can see a little bit on the middle of the top there. Um, a couple of other bits down near, down in the bottom corner, but not bad overall. I'd say that's a near mint binder card, but probably not quite worth grading. So then we go on to the Articuno. Get this one out. So a couple more print lines on this one. You can see they're sort of near the top of the middle, uh, but not bad at all. Um, centering looks pretty good overall. Um, if we go to the back, we can see again, there is a small bit of whitening along the top. Um, centering actually looks quite good, not bad. Again, I'd say that's probably a near mint binder card. So, onto the ditto. This hollow actually is very nice. There are a couple of print lines in the bottom corner around here, but nothing major. Um, not really anything that I consider a scratch. Um, you can see the centering is good. From there, um, if we look at the back, you can see a bit of whitening along the top there. Uh, the rest of it's not bad. There's a bit around the bottom corner here, but nothing major. Um, I would say so. This bit of whitening along the top there, that's kind of between near mint and light play. Um, depending on how far you want to push it, I'd probably err on the side of caution and list that as light play, but not one for grading. And we get into the two big ones. We have the Dragonite. Very nice hollow there. Um, I tell you what, nothing. No, there's a couple of maybe minor print lines. Um, it's not quite perfect. Um, there is a bit of silver in around there as well that you can just see. Um, back actually is pretty good. Edges are not perfect, but not much whitening there. Um, I'd say that's a near mint card. Let me get into the next one. We've got the Gengar. So, actually, again, a nice clean hollow. Very nice clean. You see a small a bit of a print line there just to the left of the Pokemon. Um, so that's not perfect. Centering is okay. There is a bit of silvering on the front as well, down near the bottom. Um, if we go to the back, we can see a couple of bits of whitening there. And a bit more around the bottom corner there, so nothing major though. It's not too bad at all. Another near mint card there, I'd say. Then we get to the Haunter. get this out now this is very well there is okay so there is it's difficult to see trying to catch it there is a print line just there running down but that's really the only thing wrong with the front centering looks good um if we look there on the back we can see 
that's very nice and clean tiny bit of whitening around this corner but that's about it nothing major the edges are nice and crisp centering left to right isn't it's okay top to bottom is very good so that might be one that's worth sending off for grading so i'll keep that to one side and we've got the hitmon lee so uh yeah there's a couple of Again, a couple of print. I don't think these are, you can't quite see them, shallow print lines near the top. I don't think these are scratches because they are completely straight. So I would suggest they probably are print lines. Um, centering is very nice. If we look on the back, there is a bit of whitening there along the top, a little bit more down the side, but nothing major. Again, to me, that qualifies as a Neo Mint card. Um, so that's another nice one. Then we have the Hypno. So I get a very nice clean hollow on this one. Very nice couple of minor print lines. I do like the sort of waves, psychic waves in the background of the hollow so you can sort of catch them. Um, Centering very nice. Oh, actually, no. Well, left to right is very nice. Top to bottom, top is a bit thicker than the bottom, but still not bad. If we go to the back, there's not much whitening, but the edge isn't completely crisp. So there's a tiny bit of whitening around one of the corners there, but nothing major at the top edge. You can sort of see there isn't perfect. So that still I would say qualifies as a near mint card overall then we have the Kabutops this one has a small I think this probably is a scratch it's difficult to see it is just Difficult to catch, it is very narrow. So sort of just around the head here, there is a small scratch, but aside from that, very nice condition card. Um, centering is actually pretty much spot on with this one, both top to bottom and left to right. Very, very nice. If we go to the back, there is not much whitening at all. There's a small bit around one of the corners up there. And just see but nothing major that is a very nice card this ooh, this one is difficult to tell this might have a chance at a nine i may have to check this one against some of my other nines and just kind of get an idea um well there are maybe a couple of print lines there so i'll probably err on the side of caution and not send that one off Then we've got the Lapras, card number 10 in this set, um, a very hard card to grade because of all that hollow which scratches up really easily. Um, this one actually is in pretty damn good shape, there's a couple of small print lines near the head, um, centering though is very good, it really does pop. Then if we go to the back, there are a couple of bits of whitening that you can see there near the top. A couple more small bits down near the bottom corners, but again, nothing major. Very nice condition card, I'd say definitely near mint. Then we've got the Magneton. So this one, actually, ooh, this is in very nice condition on the front. We, I did another one where I absolutely love the hollow with like those electric waves. This front is very nice and clean. Um, centering top to bottom isn't perfect, but it's not bad. Left to right is very good. Um, but if we do go to the back, we can see a couple of bits of whitening along the top. 
uh, some smaller bits near the bottom but nothing major there it's these bits on the top there you can see that it's probably the only thing stopping me sending that in to be graded because other than that that is pretty much spot on yeah back center rear centering is good as well just a shame about those two bits because actually i think that would have a very good chance at a nine or a ten otherwise a shame but still if you want a card for your first edition fossil binder and you need the magneton that is the one for you so we've got the Moltres and actually another really nice clean hollow here this one actually is probably the best hollow so far in terms of quality there's absolutely nothing wrong with it um front centering left to right so it's a bit thicker on this side than this but it's not terrible top to bottom is good but again we go to the back and you can see that yeah the worst of the back so far there's a fair amount of whitening there so to me that's definitely light play um unfortunate because again that front is probably a psa 9 quality unfortunately the back very much isn't and we have the muck um actually another really nice clean hollow here very nice bang on that um the centering left to right is okay but top to bottom you can see top is quite a bit thicker than the bottom um and if we go to the back there is a bit of whitening there which isn't amazing but you can see as well the centering is not great these two sides are much thicker than the other two so i suspect that would probably be a seven or an eight if i graded it so i'm not going to bother sending that off definitely near mint condition though really nice card then we come to the penultimate hollow which is the raichu um there are a couple of small print lines on this one near the ears uh well sort of in, yeah sort of around the ears but still really nice condition very nice condition um top to bottom uh, well, actually centering is pretty good on both counts the horizontal and vertical centering is good if we go to the back there is a bit of whitening around a couple of the corners there and a bit more around one of the other corners nothing terrible probably still qualifies as a near mint card but i wouldn't say that it's worth grading um and then we come to the final hollow the zapdos um there is there are a couple of print lines near the head above the head but actually still the condition is very nice um centering left to right is okay but top to bottom isn't brilliant you see top is quite a bit thicker um and if we go to the back we can see again the centering sort of these two sides is quite a bit thicker than these two so it's a little bit off centering you can see there is a bit of white nail on the middle of the top there so again a fantastic binder card but not quite good enough for grading so i will double check these off video um but from here i'd say the only one that maybe is worth grading is the haunter but of the rest i'd say the vast majority are near mint condition so not bad um we'll take grab a look at the big two non-hollows here as well let's have a look at the dragonite first uh actually pretty good not bad that's nicely surfaced centering is pretty good if we look at the battle there is a bit of whitening there i mean that is the only bit of whitening but the thing is with this, if that bit were if that bit were around one of the corners, say here, I'd probably send that off for grading, but PSA seem to be harsher on bits of whitening that are along the middle than that they are around a corner and hmm, it does mean the edge isn't perfect, so they could grade it down for that, so I probably won't bother sending that one in. 
Um, so we'll get that back in its semi-rigid. And then we will take a quick look at the Gengar. Um, again, actually, very nice front. Top to bottom centering, bottom is a little bit thicker than the top, but nothing major. Um, if we go to the back, actually very nice. There is a tiny bit of white in there, but it's much less than the Dragonite. And then if we look at the other, there isn't much at all. So this one might be worth sending off. That, that actually might well be worth sending off at Gengar. So get that back in there. So yeah, so this video, these cards, I am going to go through the non-hollows as well, um, away from the video, and see if any are worth grading. Those that aren't worth grading will be going up for auction on the day after this video goes live. So do go and check them out. I will put a link in the description to my eBay, so you'll be able to find them in the auction section. So if you do want to buy any of these, uh, and don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment as to whether you think I got a good deal or not with this set. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.